Hi folks, so the question we actually have here today guys is based off of the oblique plane and specifically the area around rebatment of the oblique plane. Uh, so the question uh, actually gives us the vertical trace, the horizontal trace, so we have the oblique plane traces okay on our vertical plane and the horizontal plane and we also have a lamina which I've labelled 1, 2, 3 in elevation and plan. Okay, and they've also given us a pictorial view of it down here, it's just out of shot a little bit. Uh, the question says, given is the lamina resting on the oblique plane, uh, produce a true shape of the lamina by rebatting the plane. On a pictorial, uh, draw a neat freehand sketch of the rebatted oblique plane of the lamina and then label it and so forth. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be completing it up here and then obviously putting the sketch in down here for our understanding purposes. Okay, now first of all, there's a couple of ways that you could actually, if I just come down here to our sketch, there is a couple of ways that you could see the true shape of the lamina that is on the oblique plane. Now the lamina I've labelled is 1, 2 and 3, so I'll just label those points. So that was point 1, uh, this was point 2 here, and this was point 3 in there. Okay. Now that lamina, guys, we want to basically see that as a true shape. So there's a couple of ways you could do it, okay, you could obviously look in perpendicular to the face of it, okay, um, you could probably get, you could look along the edge view here of the horizontal trace, okay, uh, to get that as a point view, then obviously taking a height on your vertical trace and get an auxiliary view, and when you get the auxiliary view, uh, you would see the oblique plane as an edge view, where the lamina is on, and then look perpendicular to that edge view, and you would take a second auxiliary to get the true shape as well. And another way we can actually do it, which is the way we're going to be learning about today, is where we're actually going to uh, rebat that around onto the ground, okay? So the way we do actually do that is, I'll just straighten that up there a little bit, is uh, first of all, we're trying to rotate this. We're going to keep this here, the horizontal trace, which I'll label HT. Okay, I'm going to label that HT, and we obviously have the vertical trace here, vertical trace there. Uh, on the vertical plane here, VP, and we've got the HP here for the horizontal plane, okay? And what we have to do is we're trying to ro rotate this around the horizontal trace, so we're going to take the vertical trace and we're going to flip it down, okay, until this surface is flat on the ground, okay, being the horizontal plane. So the idea with that is we need a point here on our vertical trace down here on the ground, okay, so that we can actually draw it in on the ground. So if I was, and this is how I would do it in a while, I would take a height, from the XY line, put that in there, XY line, okay, I would take a height on the XY line, so I'm going to do this in green, I'm going to do a parallel, I'm trying to try and keep this as neat and tidy as possible now, and as accurate as I possibly can, so I would take a height there, or a cut I should say, a line straight up, okay, and it cuts right there, okay, and what I would do then is I would project out perpendicular to my horizontal trace. Now in this case, perpendicular in a 3D sketch, trying to do it properly. Just going to assume it's something like that as best I can. So technically, that angle in there between the horizontal trace and as I projected out, that's a perpendicular angle to the horizontal trace. Okay. And somewhere out along there is a point on my vertical trace when it is on the ground. And the idea is then that we were batted around the horizontal trace. So we're going to rotate this. So taking T obviously as our rotational point, we're going to rotate this. If you imagine this rotating down, and it goes down here like this, okay? And it's going to come down like that. So the best I can, so it has rotated. And where it hits here, right there, is a point on the vertical trace when I have her batted it down. So basically all I've done here now is there, so that vertical trace has basically come down and around, and now it is here on the ground. I call it V1. Okay, so it's like I got this guy and he went down there like that. Okay, so probably my sketch is a little bit off, but you get the idea. Okay, uh, now that's what we're going to do in our elevation view. Okay, so kind of taking that principle, we've basically taken this guy and we've pulled him down. All right, probably should have gone out a good bit further there based on the sketch, but we'll have to just uh, work as best we can. Okay, so. With that in mind, that's what we're going to do on our elevation view here. So, <clears throat> I will do a vertical line. Pick anywhere at all. I could have done it in here, here, so on. I'm going to do it in here. And at that point there, okay, 
I have to do a line perpendicular out to the horizontal trace and then I also have to rebat it around, okay? So I'm going to take T as my hinge point. I'm going to take the distance to where it hits the vertical trace there. And I want to find the vertical trace down here somewhere. So I'm rebatting that around there like that. Okay. And I want to go perpendicular to the horizontal trace. Like that. And I'm going to rotate it perpendicular. And I'm going to have to actually rebat it around the touch further. So, right there. And where the two cross, that gives me a point on my vertical trace when it has been rebatted onto the ground. Okay? And there we go, and I'm going to call that V, but in this case I'll call it V1, okay? So basically what's happened is my vertical trace has gone all the way around, but I did it off this point here, okay? I could have done it off this height up here, would have given me a point out here. Same thing, okay? So now we actually have basically our oblique plane, okay? Uh, I'm going to put in an arc here, all right? I'm going to put in an arc there, and actually sketch it in. That's our oblique plane when it's sitting flat on the ground, okay? Just to give you the idea of it there, okay? Now, what we have to actually do is we have to locate the various points on our um, oblique plane when it has been put down on the ground. And obviously, because it's flat on the ground then, once, once we locate point one, two, and three, we will see them as a true shape because they're going to be sitting on the ground as we look down on top of it, okay? And that's the idea of how we're going to get the true shape. Okay, it's a nice little quick step as long as you understand the steps involved to actually get it. So, what to do that, let's say I'm going to take, the first one I'm actually going to take here is point number two. Okay, so I'm going to take point number two. I'm going to take it across like that. Where it hits here on my vertical trace, I'm going to rebat that around. So, hinge point on T. It's actually... Shorten the pencil, the viral length there a little bit. So hinge point on T into here. We're back that around. Okay, there we go. And at this point, then what we're actually going to do is we're going to come back parallel to our horizontal trace. Right, I'll switch it up to my forty-five. parallel to the horizontal trace and down there along there is going to be my point 2 where 2 comes out perpendicular to the horizontal trace then so parallel to the horizontal trace rotate it I now have a perpendicular angle and I have found point 2 okay and that is point 2 on the ground okay and I am going to do the same method then for number 3 and also for number 1 so I will bring them across and then I will back them around. So for three, I'll do that there now. Project it across. For one, I'll also do the same. So I'm gonna quicken up the process here and do them all at once. So from here into three, where three was to come across and hit my vertical trace. That was three there. And then I can get one. Just about staying on the page there. Okay, just about staying on the page. Okay, this is one, this was three. And I'm going to find three first. So once again, parallel to the horizontal trace. I'm going to project three down. I know three's in there somewhere, but then perpendicular to the horizontal trace. I've now found three in there. So I'll locate that, just write it down while I have it. There's three. And then finally, uh, last one then also with number one. And one was all the way up here, we were batted around, came into here, uh, parallel with the horizontal trace. So it's gonna come down here, somewhere there like that, and then project it out perpendicular. It's close enough to where I actually drew my plane. And then there's a point there. Okay, and there's number one. At this point now, I can connect all of them up. Okay, because what I've actually found here is the true shape of the lamina one, two, three. Okay, as a by rebattement method. Okay, 
by we're batting it around. So all we did was we went out perpendicular to the horizontal trace from tree in our plan view. Perpendicular and somewhere out along there is our tree. Okay. And from there then obviously once we brought it over here, we're batted it around and projected it down horizontal to the horizontal trace, we were able to locate it. A little bit in that there guys and just the understanding of it, okay. Uh, but the rebatment method is a very handy method as long as you understand the process of being able to get the true shape, okay. It often comes up mainly where you want to rebat it around the horizontal trace. It can work where you do rebat it around the vertical trace as well, okay. But this one, as long as you know one, you should know the other, okay. It's the same process. If we were to do it the other way, obviously we'd rebat it around and you go perpendicular to the vertical trace. All right. Uh, so now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to move on to question two there. Okay. Right, guys. So the second question on this page, guys, is very similar to the first question. It says the given lamina is resting on the oblique plane. Uh, rebat the plane and produce a true shape of the lamina once again. Okay. So we're going to rebat it around the horizontal trace. We're going to take the vertical trace, point it down here once it's sitting on the horizontal plane, and then obviously we rebat our points one, two, and three around, which I've labelled. And once they're sitting on the ground, we then therefore see it as a true shape. So the same method applies, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to take um, a line up here. I'll take it in through the object this time, like that. Okay. I am going to project out perpendicular to my horizontal trace. Perpendicular to my horizontal trace. And somewhere out along there is going to be a point on my vertical trace once I rebat that point around. So I'm going to rebat that around now. About point T. Come up here to this point here. As you can see there, that did point right in there. I'm going to rebat it around. There we go. That actually worked out quite nicely. And what I'm going to do now is draw in my vertical trace of the oblique plane when it is on the ground. Okay, which I'll now call V1. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to locate the points 1, 2, and 3. So I'll start by projecting all of those across to my vertical trace. So two across, three across, and one across. And next step then, I will project all of them around, or bat all those around, I should say. So I'll start with the lowest one, which is number two. Or bat that around. Do the same with number three. Okay, and finally, same at number one. So might go the camera shot a little bit here, guys, so I apologize. Come back in there now. Okay. Often what I do with my students as well, guys, is uh, where number one is, once it's a bat around, I'll just write one there so I have a guide. This one is three, and this one is two. Okay. So, at this point now, what we are going to do is we're going to locate the true shape of our lamina uh, once the oblique plane has been rebatted. So what we're going to do is we're going to project all of those where they hit the vertical trace, the new vertical trace I found, as it rests on the horizontal plane. I'm going to project all of those down. So, number two, I know it needs to come down about this far, so project it about there. Number three doesn't have to come down as far, so project that one to about there. And number one is all the way down here so maybe out there like that and now for one two and three they're all going to go come down perpendicular so for one it's all the way out here we can see that matches up there number two and finally number three is right there okay and that is how you locate the points okay by your abatment so that there is number two this guy here is number one and this guy here is number three, okay? And heavy those in, okay? And what we've actually found there is now the true shape, okay, of our lamina when we have rebatted it around and it is resting on the horizontal plane, meaning it is the true shape of the lamina. So I'll write that in there as well. True shape of lamina. Okay, uh, that's that question done there, guys. 
Um, the Rabatman method is there is quite effective as you can see okay for getting the true shape of that surface is basically where we had it here and we just hinged it around till it was flat on the ground because the lamina rests on the horizontal plane therefore when it's flat on the ground we see it as a true shape okay I uh, hope found that helpful there guys ask the question completed